Do you want to analyze surfactants without using chlorinated solvents? Hi, my name is Mona and in this video I will show you how to do this with the two-phase surfactant titration. Determination of anionic and cationic surfactants is possible in several different samples like shampoo, detergents, toothpaste, disinfectants and more. The principle here is a precipitation titration. Anionic surfactants are titrated with cationic surfactants and vice versa. As the name implies, a two-phase titration consists of two phases, an aqueous and an organic phase. Surfactants that aren't titrated yet stay in the aqueous phase, while the precipitate migrates to the organic phase. No surfactants are present in the aqueous phase at the equivalence point. After the equivalence point, there is an excess of titrant in the aqueous phase. Now I will show you how the anionic surfactant content of shampoo is determined. Weigh the sample. The amount depends on the expected surfactant content of your specific sample. The pH must be adjusted before the actual titration starts. For most anionic surfactants, a pH of 2 to 3 is a good range, while for most cationic surfactants, the pH should be adjusted to a range of 4 to 5. This is easy to do with a set pH titration. Afterwards, the organic solvent mixture is added. To keep the electrode clean, as well as to obtain nicely shaped curves and higher potential jumps, the addition of 0.2 ml Teguet is recommended. To mix the two phases properly, vigorous stirring with a rod stirrer is essential. Now the actual surfactant titration begins. All mentioned steps can also be automated, greatly increasing the efficiency and reducing exposure to chemicals. Apart from two-phase surfactant titration, there is also the option of aqueous surfactant titration. For more information, watch our linked video. Surfactant determination with Omnis via a two-phase titration. Simple, safe and reliable.